Your business is starting to pick up again, or you're getting back to full operations. Now is the time to get prepared for the second half of the year. We'll discover how to do that right after this. Hello there. My name is Doug Barra, and today we will look at the preparation needed to be prepared for success for your business for the balance of the year. Just like any other year, there are a few things you need to do before we get to the end of it. First off, if you've got goals and objectives for your business this year that haven't been met yet, now is the time to look at those and see what needs additional attention to be completed by December 31st. If you're one of our clients, you created goals for the end of the year at the onset and looked at milestones along the way, so you will be pretty clear how close you are to your mid-year milestone. If you didn't create those milestones, then take a moment now to look at where you want to be at the end of the year. I recommend that you set financial goals as well as some organizational ones. For example, do you want to grow your team by the end of the year? Do you see any other structural changes or shifts in the business model? Now, you want to get very clear on what worked and what didn't over the first part of the year. This will help you make informed decisions about what you need to do to accomplish your goals for the rest of the year. You need to do this examination fearlessly and honestly. It's critical that you can clearly see what didn't work and why. It's also important that this evaluation is done dispassionately as we don't want to get into a blaming or excuses situation. Why am I saying this? Because if we get into blaming or excuses, it clouds our vision and limits our ability to make a real difference. One of the most successful organizations I have seen is a company that examines what didn't work and why it didn't. This organization has an environment where people feel safe speaking up and voicing their opinions without fear of reprisal. Not only that, but each individual especially those in charge, can clearly say what they did or didn't do that impacted this failure. If you were to do that in your business, what would happen? Make sure that you've done this work and you'll be ready to create goals for your next quarter that will take you closer to the goals you set for the year. I want to make sure that you can build your business successfully so I have created the Insider's Guide to Success in Business. This free resource gives you a clear checklist to put your business on a solid foundation for growth, plus allows you to see where you are and where you need to go. Click on the link below this video to download your free guide now, or go to www.insidersguidetosuccessinbusiness.com. I'm committed to expanding what's possible for business owners, and I want to know if this video has helped you do that. Please leave me a comment. I look forward to reading what you have to say. Be sure to like this video so that others can see that you got value. And subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get all notifications so that you don't miss a single one of our videos. Remember, I'm Doug Barra, and now it's your turn. Click the link, download your free guide, take your business to the next level, and I'll see you in our next video.